In Yemen, months of protesting forced President Ali Abdullah Saleh to promise he'll step down in February, but now Saleh wants to come to the U.S. His request puts the Obama administration in a very tough spot. Saleh has been a U.S. ally against al-Qaeda, but critics charge he's also a brutal dictator with blood on his hands. Chip Reed is in Hawaii tonight, where President Obama is on vacation. Obama administration officials tell CBS News that President Saleh's request to come to the U.S. will be granted only if he agrees to a series of conditions, that his visit will be solely for the purpose of receiving medical treatment for injuries sustained in a June assassination attempt, that he will leave the U.S. when the medical treatment concludes, and that he will abide by his agreement to step down from power in February to help ease the transition to elections. In Yemen, Saleh's opponents have spent months demanding justice for his bloody crackdown against a popular uprising. Some U.S. officials are concerned that allowing Saleh into the U.S. would create even greater chaos, giving al-Qaeda an opportunity to strengthen its hand. The al-Qaeda branch in Yemen is one of the most dangerous in the world and has been linked to a series of attacks on American soil, including the deadly shootings at Fort Hood, Texas, the attempt by the so-called underwear bomber to bring down a plane near Detroit, and the attempted bombing in New York's Times Square. But other U.S. officials support Saleh's request for medical treatment, arguing that he's been a valuable U.S. ally, supplying intelligence for U.S. drone strikes that have killed key members of al-Qaeda. That argument, though, has been weakened by the fact that U.S. officials now suspect that in one case, Saleh fed them bad intelligence to trick them into killing one of his political opponents. Officially, the final decision will be made by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. But, Jeff, the president is getting briefed on the negotiations while he's here in Hawaii. And White House officials say that final decision will reflect the president's thinking. All right, Chip, thank you.